Kay Francis grew up during the Jazz Age and delighted in its hedonistic activities. She is unquestionably one of the pre-code era's brightest treasures. She had an immaculate sense of style and was regally tall at 5 feet 9 inches, making her the lankiest female star of Hollywood's golden age. She was criticized for being close horse. She was never an ingenue, portraying sophisticated society women, astute businesswomen. When she was barely out of her teens, she had huge expressive hazel eyes and dramatic dark hair. Her voice was a little gruff and lacked the virtually British mid-Atlantic accent that many actresses in comparable roles tended to adopt. However, a mild speech defect made her appear more affluent to viewers. The affluent actress avoided extravagances like limos and large houses that were very popular among the Hollywood elite despite her financial status, lax morals, and lifestyle as a socialite. She was unmistakably a modern American leading woman. She was also rarely cast in costumes costume dramas or as Brits, as she had a startling small number of passionate scenes with her leading men. However, Kay Francis was among the well-paid female performers in Hollywood during the 1930s. Prior to Jack Warner's deterioration and Betty Davis, she ruled Warner Brothers. Her diaries depict a woman whose private life was frequently chaotic. Miles White, a costume designer, recalled an all-homo pool party that took place at Francis's residence in the 1930s. He and others just assumed Francis was a lesbian. She had five husbands, no children, and several lovers. Her name frequently appeared in gossip publications associated with homosexual guys who were escorts. Warner Brothers reportedly paid Anderson Lawler $10,000 to travel with her to Europe in 1934. Lawler claimed that while they were in London, Kay entered his hotel room completely undressed and shouted, I'm not a star, I'm a woman. Lawler responded, I earned my $10,000 when asked how he managed the problem. There might have been a few liaisons with females, but her head wasn't there, though. She was always inclined toward men. There was never any question about that. Kate Francis came to the conclusion that the best way to defeat life at its own play was to never take anything seriously and never entrust your entire being to another person so that you can never be let down. Her outstanding work in the military during World War II and her financial gift to the seeing eye, Kay believed that doing some good for other people was far more essential than putting all of her attention into marketing herself and a film career. Click here to watch this video next.